you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new jillian here um we're gonna be doing like a little thrift trip i'm going to a couple different stores so i'm gonna take you guys with me i have no plans to like buy anything for myself i'm looking for some very specific things but if i see anything cool i will show you guys so let's go you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're going to be there were a lot of cool vintage pieces in the thrift store this day. I did end up getting a pair of these pants for my daughter. I wish that they would have fit me. I would have gotten some for myself as well, but they did not. The snowsuit. That was not going to fit me, but I wish it would have because I probably for sure would have picked it up. I did come across this dress and I've been dying to find one of these that is long sleeve and way oversized so I could turn it into a kimono, but no luck yet. I went over to like the vests and the jackets and kind of like went through and to be honest I didn't really see a lot that I felt like I really wanted to pick up. I did see this linen set and this was very tempting just because of the quality of the material but after looking at it I realized it wasn't probably something I was going to reach for so I didn't end up getting it after all. This store did have some really cool like blazers but unless it's like uh, one of a kind I'll never come across it again in life type of blazer I haven't really been picking up too many blazers lately I'm really trying to be mindful about if I'm going to actually wear it like I have to really have these realistic moments with myself in the thrift store to determine if I'm like actually gonna wear it but I did come across a really cool red silk top um, that was a tank that I thought would be perfect for summer okay so i spent 34 dollars in there i'm gonna do a haul for you guys later for like what i got but now we're headed to the second location so barefaced you guys today and i am loving it normally i would do my eyebrows but i was like really trying to get out the house this morning and i didn't really want to waste time and for the most part you guys if i'm not filming and it's not the weekend or I don't have to go to work. Your girl is bare faced. I feel like that is the secret to me having good skin. Is uh sorry, I feel like that's the secret to me having good skin is not really wearing makeup every single day. Ooh. Gives my face a chance to um breathe. So now we're headed to a goodwill. Hopefully we get really, really lucky there because I feel like I've been getting super lucky lately. <laughs> it's so funny though to me because there were people, not on TikTok, but on Instagram, um, talking about how they felt like I staged all of that and I set that up and it's so wild to me because you guys know, like you have been with me for years, you know that that's fairly normal for me to find stuff like that because I just really look. So it was kind of interesting to see people so bothered and really feel like I was lying. But anyways, I digress. We're gonna go to the Goodwill and we're gonna hit another Goodwill after that. Um, we're probably gonna hit up Hope of the Valley and that will probably round out my thrift trip. So let's see what kind of energy I have to get through the rest. I am so proud of how well I did in the Goodwill because I did not get nearly as many pieces as I thought I would. I came across some really cool things like this um, bomber was pretty cool. This jacket next to it that I'm going to show you in a moment. If it would have been real leather, that would have been more tempting. But since it wasn't, I just, you know, it was cute, but I love leather. So unless it's real leather, I'm not picking it up. This was also really cool, but it was not really like in my size. And actually now looking back, I probably should have tried it on anyway. But this is something that I had to try on because when I saw this, I immediately thought to myself, this would make the perfect spring like little shift dress. And then this anomaly occurred where I came across a bunch of Levi's. Like for me personally in my thrift store, I haven't really come across a lot of Levi's 550s like I used to before, but I like saw them back to back to back, which kind of actually reminds me, I need to go pick up a smaller pair for the size that I am now. So that is definitely on the list. 
I thought these Wrangler uh, jeans were really cool and I like the color, but I feel like every time I've tried on Wrangler jeans, I don't really like them on myself. So I passed on that. This necklace was really cool, but realistically, I just knew I wasn't going to reach for it. But these bracelets, like, oh my gosh, they were real leather, very like heavy and solid. And I just thought they were amazing. And here's the dress and what it looked like when I tried it on. I wasn't in there long. I actually did end up getting the item you saw me try on because I feel like for spring that'll be a really pretty dress I plan to just button it and wear it like a dress um, but when I saw these I'm gonna show you right here they're all like these leather bracelets I think they're so cool actually this is how this goes yeah they're so cool and they're real leather they're sturdy and heavy and I just felt like these were really great quality and um, I'm really loving the blue. It doesn't have a brand though. So I can't tell how they were made, but I decided to just get them because I thought they were really cool. Off to Hope. Oh, I'm starting to get like tired. <laughs> I'm starting to get tired. But we'll see. I'm gonna stop by Hope of the Valley. And um, we're gonna do a quick skim. You know, we're not going to be there too long. And honestly, I was in and out on the Goodwill too. I think I was only in there for maybe 10 to 15 minutes, give or take. So, mm. see what hope of, the, hope of the Valley has to offer. And it's just like literally right down here. And then, yeah, we're going to be headed back home and obviously it won't be today but I will be at the end of this video um, doing a haul and trying to style up a few of the pieces to kind of show you my plan and then obviously I have stuff I have to get rid of now so I have to figure that out too um, anyways we will meet at home oh my gosh I'm kind of excited I never get to come here where I could take advantage of the discount so everything I get will be 25% off All right, we are out of there. I don't know how much footage I got, but there were certain things that I showed you guys. So all of this stuff, just so you guys know, is not actually for me. So I'm actually completely done. I'm going to head home now. Literally, I did not expect to find quite so many things, but I am going to head to, let me see how much time do I have? Hmm. We'll see, I'm thinking about if I'm gonna head to the fabric store or not because I need to buy some thread for the color of the things that I'm trying to work so we'll see but I'm going to stop it's a non-fast day for me so I'm gonna stop and get an agua fresca now that I know what's in it I can't even like buy it guilt-free anymore but better that I know right so yeah I'm about to go do that we are definitely on a different day <laughs> Um, what am I doing? Okay, so right now, oh, by the way, my daughter did pass her driver's test. <sighs> now I'm scared though. So I'm still gonna have her drive me around a little bit more just cause I need to see how she drives. But um, she drove us here and she did way better than the first time. Uh, I'm on my way to get something to eat because I am starving. I have not eaten today yet and it's like afternoon. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go back to the thrift store where I found that Bottega jacket just to see, you know, if there's anything else, you know, that same person had to have donated some other things. So I'm gonna see if there's any other items that maybe they missed. And like normally I tag Goodwill in my videos, but not gonna lie, I didn't tag them in that video on Instagram or TikTok even though both videos went viral because like I don't, I don't need them finding out about that brand and like you know sending out the mass email I don't so <laughs> I didn't they do watch my videos though so eventually they're gonna see it but you know it is what it is so I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I am going to uh, head over to that thrift store and kind of just like see what they have but yeah I'm, I'm hoping to get to that thrift store and kind of it's been a week like so I've gone 
probably two other times since I found that jacket just to kind of see if anything else got put out. So I'm like hoping to get to that store before they can figure out that's the store that I found it at, if you know what I mean. I don't want them to like start astronomically pricing things out. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. But first I must eat because I am starving. So that's what we're doing. This outfit, by the way, I put the um, like a dress with me on uh, TikTok. I recently thrifted this. Obviously you guys saw that. I think you saw it in this video because I'm like pretty sure I filmed it few days ago I think I'm pretty sure you guys saw me thrift it so anyways I styled it immediately into an outfit because I was obsessed with it you can check that out on TikTok if you have one but I have to try to make a shorter version of it for um, YouTube shorts and IG reels because again like on TikTok I have the option of up to a let me go here I have the option for up to a 10 minute video so it's easier for me to do like a full outfit video on there but on here um, on IG Reels or YouTube Shorts, I only have a minute. So there's like a lot I have to cut out when I try to fit it on there. Yeah. Anyways, let me get my food. I am at this place called Casa Pasilla and I love the food here. It's so good. All right, food has been ordered, but actually there is a, what is it called? Vintage boutique right here. I've never been here and I kind of want to see like what it's about. So let's just take a little look-see. All right, never mind. They're already closed for the day. <laughs> so I'm hoping to um, do a haul for you guys later because I have some jewelry pieces. So some of the jewelry I'm going to show you right now, but I'll show you a little bit more in depth later. Is I got these pieces from the En Route collection that Colleen Diaz did with them. Um, I have the earrings, this necklace, this one. I also have like another necklace that is adjustable the thing i like about the jewelry she did with them is the fact that they are you could wear them a lot of different ways so one of the necklaces that she did with them you could wear it as a bracelet you could wear it like a lariat style or together or you know it's just a lot of different creative ways that you can actually style the pieces up and i do really like that and even one of the crosses on it is like it's removable so you could take it out and just wear the chain or you can add the cross so that was like very innovative and very like much something i would do if i did a jewelry line as well so i had to get a lot of the pieces the only pieces i didn't get were like the rings and the bracelets and i kind of wanted to get them but at the same time the statement pieces the ones that i got are the ones that were the most important to me so i got those i'm not even sure if they're still available i'll have to go check um because i wouldn't even be surprised if it sold out that day because the collection was really nice I don't know if you guys remember the stack of pearl necklaces that I thrifted, but it did kind of remind me of this. And I had seen this before it got released. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, this is very similar. And so I got that. But now that I have this one, I can actually layer them all up together. And it would be just like a really cool, chunky, bold look if I just wanted to do it with like t-shirt and jeans. Yeah, I like really like the jewelry. I will link it in the description if it's still available. I'm just not sure that it's actually still available. Um, I have about maybe 10 minutes before my food is ready. I'm going to eat in the car and hope and pray that I do not spill on this silk bomber because that would be tragic. Uh, but I just love this color. It's so cool. And you guys know I have a lot of these like satin bombers. It's just something about the color of this one that did it for me. Styling this up this way. My timer just went off. I think my food might be ready. But styling it up this way made me really want to style up the other ones and i just like the fact that i styled it in the form of like a shirt instead of a traditional jacket because it's versatile in that way and that's what i really like i like to get um, pieces from the thrift or just in regular life that are versatile or statement pieces i was like really thinking about this i do think it's very important to have classics but i also realized that my color not my cl color my closet is full of statement pieces and bold colors and that's just wild to me because i used to think a few years ago i used to say i don't wear colorful clothing i don't really wear colorful clothing but then when i looked in my closet and i thought about it and i started going through my instagram I'm like girl what are you talking about you do wear colorful clothing and so i noticed that i really like bold colors i like jewel tones a lot i love jewel tones they just match my 
aesthetic and I just I'm drawn to them I love jewel tones I noticed that I don't really gravitate towards pastels though I don't really think pastels are for me I just feel like every time I wear pastels I'm kind of it feels like I'm missing something the only exception to that is I love wearing creams and whites but like as far as like pastel pinks and lavenders and things like that I love those colors but I feel like I have to pair them with something a little bit more statement even if it's just a bunch of chunky statement gold jewelry I have to pair it with something that makes it pop I just cannot do the whole minimal pastel look it's just it doesn't really um get me excited if you know what I mean I, I wonder let me go see if my food is ready because I really want to try to hurry up and get to the thrift store I also got an agua fresca from that place this one is the hibiscus and the pineapple mm. delicious but I just now recently found out that it's full of sugar so okay I have the food oh they didn't put the pico de gallo on it but it's just oh they put it on the side okay she, I think she said she, they did that because they didn't want the tacos to be wet. <laughs> like, or the, you know, because it's like a crunchy taco. Ooh, this looks so good. I've actually, I know this is good because I've had it. And then I like the creamy jalapeno salsa. I always like consider, like, so right now, um, for the last year, I've been kind of like working on learning French. Because I took it all through high school and I took it in college for a little bit. But I used to be fluent in Spanish as a child. So I do consider going back and like relearning Spanish though. Because like as a child, I was very fluent. My grandfather was fluent. He used to speak to me all the time as a kid. I didn't even realize that I knew Spanish the way that I did. Until like I looked back and realized some of the people I used to talk to all the time. They did not even know English. But like now, as it stands today, I admire those people who speak like multiple languages, especially the ones who speak like three, at the minimum three. Like, wow. For me, I'm just like wondering, how do you keep them like straight in your mind? How do you not mix them up? If you speak more than two languages, like if you're three minimum, how do you keep them in your mind and not mix them up? Like, how do you not accidentally use words from another language that you know? I just think that's so interesting. Okay, that was so good. I am just refreshing my lip gloss. I got these mints from Trader Joe's. They're actually pretty good. I need one, though, because my taco definitely had tons of pico de gallo in it. And we're off. It's actually super gloomy. I don't know if you guys can see out my windows, but it's like not it today. I think it's like 61 degrees. So although I don't feel like I need a jacket necessarily, what I have on is actually perfect. It's like the perfect thing for me to not be too hot but not cold either. Which again is why I'm like really feeling this whole like wearing this as a shirt thing because silk is obviously very breathable. Come on, baby. Are you gonna go? All right. Um, silk is very breathable, obviously, so that's nice, but yeah. The weather is not it today. On this particular day, this thrift store was yet again giving, okay? Um, I came across this linen gap blazer, which was really good quality. The inside lining felt like silk, but I actually have two of these in two different sizes for the fit that I want, so I didn't actually need it. But if you were in the market for some spring blazers, definitely hit up your thrift. I thought this was really cool, but this was not real leather lined, which I was kind of disappointed because I felt like it would have been so much better if it was. Not that I actually would have gotten it, but it just would have made it better. And then this is another Calvin Klein um, blazer that I came across that is also kind of like, you know, felt like it had a little bit of linen to it. And then this vest was also linen and I want to say it was like silk as well. But it was really cool. I did not want it because it was too big for me. But this I saw and I have not come across a Wilson's leather uh, like vest that was plain in a while that I felt like would fit me. So snagged that. This belt was so cool. Had to pick this up because I love the two-tone nature of it. 
and then i saw the sleeve of this picking out and i was like what is this this there's no way this is burberry but it was definitely burberry i could not believe it it was only like i think 7.99 so snag that and then the ralph lauren black label this is a 900 dollars shirt so went ahead and snagged that as well i didn't get this one but this one was also really cool i love the design all over it and then i came across this victoria's secret like little sleep shirt and it's weird to me that this was priced much higher than the burberry even the zara was priced much higher than the burberry so i thought that was kind of strange but you know it is what it is better for me i came across this carol little top and this is actually really cropped i thought it would look really cute so i snagged that and then this was way too big for me but such a cool piece and i really do kind of wish it would have been in my size so you guys there is so much stuff in here um the music's loud so i can't really like film a lot but like it's a good trip i know i am all over the place <laughs> but so i had to take my son to his basketball practice we just put him into this like like aau camp team it's so expensive it's like twenty five hundred dollars not even gonna lie it's so expensive but he's like really passionate so we're willing to pay for it you know just to kind of like give him that opportunity but down the street happens to be the council uh the, it's like council thrift which is one of my favorite thrift stores in the valley that i booked mark on my maps literally three minutes down the street so taking him to practice is really going to work out for me so i'm going to go in here see kind of like what they have it's still fairly early so um if i come across anything good i will show you guys if not I'll see you guys when we do like the haul of things that I got in a little styling and a little try on. When I saw this in the glass case, I immediately thought to myself, Ferragamo. I was like almost certain it was going to be Ferragamo, but as soon as I looked inside, I realized it was not. But it was still a really cool find. It actually came with a mirror in it. In this case, there were some boots that I thought looked very Bottega esque, but they were Stuart Wiseman. And I don't really think that they were my size. I think they were a half size too small, which is why I didn't end up trying them on. But when I went over to the racks in the front, I came across this ski jacket. I don't know what it is. I have a thing for ski jackets. I feel like the colors and like the way that they are put together are just so much more fun than a regular jacket. Um, I saw this Diana Furstenberg shirt, too small. Kind of went through this rack. There were some really cool pieces, but for the most part, they weren't really in my size. So I looked at them, kind of wanted to show you guys what I was seeing, but there wasn't like a ton here that I was like, oh, I need to get this for myself but still really cool pieces and very unique pieces they had this really cool top that i was very tempted by because it just tied in the center and i was like this could be really cool but it was like giving me a little bit too much of my high school years <laughs> so i passed on it came across this ag button up but i did not need any more button ups you guys already know your girl thrifted a bunch of designer button ups so i am set these were some really cute uh sigerson morrison shoes but they were not my size great quality though and this is the other ski jacket that i had come across that i thought was super cool but in the end i did actually end up putting them both back even though i had them in my cart i thought this all saints dress was really cute it was a nice cute little wrap dress and then this jacket was also really cute but i have something very similar to this that's long so i didn't need it but i did want to show you guys what it looked like now the item that i do wish fit me was this badgley mishka like skirt set because this was so cute like it was such a great quality like linen material and then when you turned the blazer around to the back it had such amazing detail so i was kind of sad this was not in my size um i also came across this rag and bone like denim i don't know like tank top and this store had just some really cool coats overall i thought this was amazing definitely not my size and then it had this pendleton like little blazer which you know Maybe a couple years ago I would have gotten it, but I just knew myself in that moment I would not reach for it. Um, I also came across this really cool chocolate brown um, leather and then this Alexander Wang collab with H&M. Um, my girls were not fitting in this and I was really in my head trying to think, oh, maybe I could squeeze, but no. These pants were amazing. They were like a corduroy with a satin top, very, very Y2K 
feel like I had something very similar to that back in the day. I also came across this Halston dress, which I thought was really cool, but not my size. And then um, this whole entire rack actually did have some pretty cool pieces on it, but nothing that was just like screaming to me that I needed it. Now I did come across this blue skirt suit set that I wish would have been in my size because I would have gotten this skirt turned into a mini in a heartbeat and like with this little tie in the front amazing but that's gonna go to somebody who really loves it this johnny was dress has such a high resale value and i really wanted to love this on me but when i tried it on i just didn't like it <laughs> so i left it in the store um, i'm not really too concerned with reselling in that way um this rickso dress was super cute and i thought it was such a great price but again not my size but i did come across these diesel jeans which i had to snag you know diesel's super trending right now but beyond that i, I just love the fit of the jeans now this was painful they had so many stains on it and I was in my mind standing there for like five minutes trying to think if I could actually get them out but luckily went and found this online later and bought it so um you know I just left that one there this vest I also really wanted it to be in better condition but it was damaged but it was super cool so I had to show you guys what it looked like and then the couches these couches they were priced pretty high but this is something that if I had a house I would definitely snag these and get them reupholstered into something super cool. This store also had some really great belts. I came across this one, not my size. And then I came across this other belt right here, which is very much giving Y2K. And if you've been on TikTok lately, seeing the trend with these belts, it's actually hilarious. But I went ahead and put this back for some girl who would just like die over it. Um, I saw this, I wanted to get it, but this is not for my hair color, just not. All right, so I only got three things. The first thing is this vintage Victoria's Secret blouse that has the ruffles in the front and the sleeve. I've actually been kind of looking for this silhouette, so I was happy to come across that. I got this dress, which it could very well be a skirt, but I'm gonna wear it as like a long tube top dress. The top kind of folds down. And then it's just like a long maxi length. I think that's gonna be perfect for spring, summer. And those kind of dresses in a tube top form are very hard to find. Um, and then last but not least, ironically, the pants that you guys just saw me thrift, the diesel ones, I found them in my size. <laughs> so um, the first ones were not in my size, but I got them anyway because I felt like diesel is trending. And so um, I was gonna either rework them and sell them or just put them on like Poshmark or something. But ironically, I found them in my size, which I think is kind of funny. I snagged those and I love the fit. Hopefully they, uh, Hopefully they actually fit the way I think they're gonna fit in my mind. So yeah, that's what I got. And now I need to head back to go pick up my son. After watching me thrift insane pieces for the last two weeks, I think it's time for a thrift haul. I got these from the Goodwill for $8.99. I feel like they are the perfect baggy fit, but they're like a little bit um, low rise, but also nipped in at the waist. Super cute. I'm gonna be wearing these so much. This shirt is so good. I mean, <laughs> look at this. It's like this really thin mesh material. I wasn't sure it was gonna fit. But look at the sleeves. I just feel like, yes, 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 yes. Listen, this next look is giving very much Y2K, but as the original millennial, nobody's doing Y2K better than me. I thrifted these, diesel. Like, look at, look at these. They're just missing like the platform thongs, but these diesel jeans right here, super cute, very much. This is actually a mid-rise because as an original millennial, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is nothing like the low rise that we used to wear. These go very well together. I'm not sure that I would actually wear this like this, but I also got this leather Wilson's vest. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I definitely would not wear this like this, but this is a Wilson's leather vest that I got. The shirt was $7.99, the vest was $12.99, but for real leather, I mean, a steal. You guys have already seen this. I will insert footage right now. I actually got this hoping to wear it as a dress and I've been looking for something, this silhouette. I think it'll look great with these boots. Let's try it on. Yep very much giving. I have this leather vest over it, but yes, yes, yes. For funsies, let's also try on this belt that I thrifted. 
it's real leather and I thought this could be fun to belt some things. I definitely would not wear it with this, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This is the belt right here. You can even turn it around so it's like that. Okay, this was supposed to originally be a top, but when I saw it, I was like, this would make such a cute little shift dress. Look at the embroidered detail, so cute. Yeah, this is really, really cute. Loving this, it was $12.99. I fully plan to wear this sexy little number in the summer. It's nice and sheer and see-through. I'm gonna put it on with these like cowboy boots just to see how they look. And these are my new Fendi boots. They're vintage. Super cute, super cute. Hold on. Super cute. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. Love this. I totally thought this was a skirt when I first thrifted it. Um, but when I was looking at it before I checked out, I realized it was a dress in the most amazing spring summer maxi dress and it was only $12.99. So this is not the last piece. I'm just gonna try this on. I got this leather bomber and it was only $9.99, but I thought this was super cute very much trending but yeah this is everything that i got on my thrift haul if you want to see more items because i do have more then follow let me know in the comments and click the like bye